Welcome to the alloys video. By the end of this video, you should be able to explain what an alloy is, differentiate between interstitial and substitutional alloys, predict what type of alloy will form given two different elements. So an alloy is a physical combination of two or more metals. In fact, some alloys can be described as a solution of one metal dissolved in another. So it's a physical mixture. These, these atoms are not chemically combined. Why do we create alloys? Well, adding a second or sometimes a third or even a fourth metal can change the properties of the mixture to suit a particular purpose. So take, for instance, stainless steel, which you're probably familiar with um, if you do any cooking. Stainless steel is a really common material used in cooking implements, like pots and pans, sometimes countertops. Um, stainless steel is primarily made of iron. However, as you probably know, iron rusts really, really quickly. Um, so that wouldn't be ideal if you're using it uh, to cook food. However, if you alloy the iron with small amounts of carbon, chromium, and nickel, you now end up with a substance that resists corrosion, which is perfect for use um, as, as a cooking implement. So now you have all the properties of iron that you want, and it resists corrosion because you've alloyed the iron with some additional metals. Another really common example is bronze, which is primarily copper, alloyed with a little bit of tin, um, and that makes it a little more chemically stable. There are two types of alloys that we're gonna look at. The first is called a substitutional alloy. So in a substitutional alloy, a second element takes the place of a metal atom. This happens when the atomic radii of the two metals are very similar. So for instance, uh, 14 karat gold is a substitutional alloy. 14 karat gold is primarily gold with a small amount of silver alloyed with it. Notice that both gold and silver have very similar atomic radii. So a silver atom is actually substituted for a gold atom. You can juxtapose this to an interstitial alloy. This is an alloy where the second element fills the space in between the metal atoms of the lattice. In order to do this, the atoms must have very different radii. For instance, steel is a substitutional alloy. Steel is predominantly iron, but small amounts of carbon are added. Notice those small carbon atoms can fit right in between the iron atoms. This is possible because the atomic radii are very different. Carbon is much smaller than iron and can kind of fit into those small spaces. Here's an example of a question you might find on the AP exam related to alloys. So steel is an alloy, as we just said, containing iron and carbon. Which of the following diagrams best represents the particle level structure of steel? And what type of alloy is steel? Pause the video here and answer these questions. When you come back, we'll discuss the answer. Welcome back. You should have selected B. This question requires a little bit of knowledge of periodic trends. We know from the periodic table that carbon is much, much smaller than iron because it's much higher up and further to the right than iron. Therefore, its atomic radius will be much smaller. So this question actually relies on your knowledge of periodic trends. That's how I got to B. I know that carbon is much smaller than iron, so I needed the option where um, we had smaller carbon atoms than iron atoms. Um, you should have eliminated C right off the bat. Nothing about an alloy changes the radius of the atoms. In terms of what type of alloy, as we can see, the carbon atoms have filled the spaces between the iron atoms. Therefore, we know that this is an interstitial alloy rather than a substitutional alloy. That brings us to the end of this video. Let's review our goals. First, we looked at what an alloy is. It's a mixture of two or more metals that's created in order to maximize the prop beneficial properties of each metal. And then we differentiated between interstitial and substitutional alloys. And finally, we learned to predict which type of alloy will form given two different elements. This will be based on their relative atomic radii.